Good evening. I'm here at the sawmill. I've been busy cutting the last couple of weeks. Just wanted to take a minute and do a walk around while I have everything cleaned up. We finally got the sawmill anchored down with some six inch concrete anchors. Uh, unfortunately, as we had the six foot bed extension on and I anchored everything in, I could not find one of my legs. So I still have an adjustable leg on this backside. <clears throat> I have my tires off and I have set in place exactly where I wanted. Uh, marked all my holes and drilled the holes. Since doing that, in order to drill them all the way through, I actually had to pick the mill up and move it. And when I was done, I picked the mill up and put it back in place. Uh, I've got a couple of the anchors that would not go all the way in. I think two that are spinning. And I found out even though these legs are all bolted on, they are a little movable. So we did a little hammering in putting the uh, anchor bolts in to try to fit right. Like I said, I've got two that are sticking up pretty high. I was not happy with, but I've worked and worked on it. We got uh, a little air impact hammer and drove down four or five of them that I could not reach with a sledgehammer once the mill was back in place but I believe I have it good enough. I may have some places come loose. Uh, I'm gonna do a little adjusting to my dust removal system. We've got 25 foot of this clear flex hose and a uh, 220 three horsepower Grizzly blower motor off of a dust collection system. I have a 10 inch flex pipe in the back cut at an angle that I just temporarily mounted up top. I'm gonna extend this on out later where I can collect the sawdust and separate it if I need to. I went to Tractor Supply and got some door track. I believe it's 10 foot door track and just used a strap. I drilled through the door track into the rafters up top and put it in with some torque screws. Uh, it seems to do pretty good. There are some little fins on the front side from time to time if I'm doing cypress or cedar it will stop up a little bit and we'll have to pull it off and clean it. I just took my hose off of this end and this fits on there. Have not had any problem doing eights and 12s and 16s. Once I do longer, uh, I'm able to do up to 27 with this bed extension. Uh, as I do longer, I'm gonna have to extend that. So I'm gonna take this additional track and take the other track down, get them on my flat concrete floor and MIG weld them together to make sure I have the tracks exactly the same and put two ends on them. And then I'll be able to carry my suction hose the entire length without any problem. Uh, I did lose my little connection here. So I went to the hardware store and have this adjustable bolt with some hay wire for now till I can call Woodmiser and order that in. Have my bed all leveled up plumb and straight and uh, we've already cut some 26 foot tuba 12s on here but where they were going it did not matter but I wanted to get everything level so that's where we are added some plugs added a fan here in the corner uh, have my breaker box cover still off because I'm working on wiring in this three phase uh, conveyor uh, and I have my manual conveyor here that I send stuff back to the edger but I have a cable broke on my board return and need to see about getting it repaired. So we still are doing offloading by hand on this end in the meantime. Anyway, just a little update from the sawmill in Truvine. Got plenty of logs to cut, oak, native pecan, and bald cypress. So we're about to get with it. Have a great evening. Adios.